Kiki Lewis is a guard for Syracuse. She transferred from Ohio State, and I had a chance to touch base with Kiki because guess what? The Orange, they're going to welcome him, the number one team in the country, and I tell you right now, I can tell Kiki is fired up. Yes, I am. Um, just had him come into the Dome. It's exciting. Now, uh, talk about the anticipation with this game. Now, here's Oregon, big, bad Oregon. They've beaten the U.S. national team. You guys are all fired up. It, this has got to be an unbelievable experience knowing what's coming up on Sunday. Um, yes, it is. Uh, I mean, like you said, they're number one. They beat the USA team. Um, I mean, we, we're, ready for, we're ready for this challenge. They're not a bad team, um, so we expect a good game, and we're just all excited. What makes them so good? Um, I mean, they have one of the best players in the country on their team, um, and they don't have any bad players, actually. Uh, their whole starting five is, is pretty pretty good. Um, and, I mean, it's, it's why they're number one. So how does Syracuse pull off the big upset, given there's no weaknesses with this uh, team that you're going to play on Sunday? How are you going to pull it off? Um, I mean, we just have to come out um, like we've been playing our last three games. Um, you're going to have to start a little better. Um, as opposed to what we've been doing. But um, just come out with the same game plan. Um, don't try to do too much. I mean, it's just another game, although they're number one in the country. But um, just to play our game and have fun with it. You've gotten off to a good start, undefeated. Uh, what's been the best part about this Syracuse team so far? Um, just that every game it was someone different who was who was the leading scorer. Um, it wasn't just one person. And I've seen people step up and do things that I, did, that I haven't seen them do. And um, that's exciting. Um, I mean... You know, people stepping out their comfort zone. Now, Kiki, I've been up to the Dome now for some of the guys, and then they're playing with Jim Beheim and those boys. That place can absolutely rock. Uh, what's the coolest part about the home fans coming up this weekend? Um, I mean, we just to have that fan base behind us with the number one team coming coming into the Dome. Um, I'm excited. Um, it's supposed to be an orange out. Um, one section is supposed to be wearing orange. The other section is supposed to be wearing white. So I'm excited for that. Um, and just to have our crowd behind us. Now, you transferred from Ohio State. Uh, when you decided, I've had enough of Columbus, what was it about Syracuse that you said, you know what, this is home for me? Um, I knew that Syracuse was like my high school and my AU team. This was what I, I was used to, um, just running and pressing all, all the time. And, um, I mean, when I talked to Q, uh, I told him my expectations. And, um, I mean, he told me he laid it out for me what was going to be expected of me, and I felt this was the right place. You know, we were up there a couple of weeks ago to do our show, and uh, Q stopped by. I, man, you talk about fashion plate, great coach. <laughs> uh, what's it like hanging out with him? He's a celebrity, man. He's unbelievable. Uh, I mean, it, it's tough because I mean, I'm here. I'm over here wearing some Crocs, and he got on <laughs> Louis Vuitton, and so it, it's different. And you know, it makes me feel the type of way. But no, I respect that. I mean, he he knows how to dress. Uh, have you given him some fashion tips by saying, hey, listen, coach, I know you think you're cool and I know you're the boss, but you know what? Maybe that tie doesn't go with that suit. Have you given him any uh, some tips that maybe uh, he can pull that thing off during the regular season? No, I think he got it. Um, he probably needs to give a couple of us some tips, um, but nah, he got it. <laughs> by the way, have you seen his closet? I mean, has he been able to tell you, hey, listen, I can go 25 deep in suits because he is a fashion plate. No, nah, he's never told us, but I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised on what the closet looked like, just because he comes in with something different every every day and every game he has on something different. Does he have a superstition on game day? Actually, no, I don't think so. Not that I know of. Um, I mean, he does the same thing every time. Uh, every time he comes in the locker room, it's the same thing. So it, it's nothing too different. Do you have one? Mm. Um, it's not, I don't think it's really a superstition, but like when I get to the locker room, um, I always put on my socks first before I put on shorts, jersey, anything. I put on my socks first. Then I just sit in my locker for a minute, and, you know, just look at my phone. So I, I try to do that every game. Is it left, then right, or right, then left for you? It's right, then left. Now you had to think about that, didn't you? you, did, you yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. so you got number one coming to town. You know the place is going to be packed. You're off to mm -hmm. a great start. You know the coach is going to look like a million bucks. What's the biggest key for Syracuse, though, on Sunday to win this ballgame? Um, you have to 
contain uh, Sabrina. Um, that's going to yeah. be huge for us. And um, like I said, their whole team is good. So we're we just going to have to contain all of them. Um, and that's what we're hoping to do. Um, hoping to come out with an upset. You know, you mentioned the fact that uh, multiple folks have stepped up in different games. It really is going to take something like that in terms of the ultimate team effort. You mentioned there's no weak links with Oregon. You got to catch them on the right day, but you also have to play lights out. But you got to have some confidence. And I, th I know you do just having this conversation with you that you know a lot of folks can step up and make big plays when they have to. Uh, yes, definitely. Um, I mean, uh, we had some players come off the bench and, you know, be – be that turning point that we needed um, when we start off slow in the first half. And like I said, we're not going to be able to do that against the number one team in the country. So I think um, just the people who's coming off the bench is going to be key roles. All right. I know how crazy your work schedule has got to be. Tell everybody what you're majoring in at Syracuse. Uh, I'm majoring in psychology and forensic science. All right. And with that said, the most difficult course that you've had at Syracuse is what? Any psychology class, it's just so much memorizing. Um, and I've taken like two or three at a time. So like just trying to balance and remember this for this class and this for this other psych class, it's, it's been pretty tough. But um, I mean, I'm almost done with this, so I'm excited. You know, so just walk us through a typical day for you. Because I think a lot of times uh, fans who sit there and watch you guys play or whatever the case may be don't understand the amount of time spent away from basketball? Because, I mean, listen, you are a student athlete. So a typical mm -hmm. day looks like what for you? Just walk us through it. Um, so I'm going to give you my Monday schedule. So um, we practice at 7 a.m. to 10.30. Um, so that means I'm waking up at about 6.15. Um, then after practice, um, I'm rushing, showering. Um, I have a 10.35 class. That ends at 11.30. Then I have about maybe like an hour, um, and then I have another class at 12.45 that ends at 2.05. And then um, I try to, you know, obviously eat something, and then I have one last class from 5 to 8. Um, and then, I mean, it's time to go to sleep because, like I said, we have 7 a.m. practices, so I have to get up at about 6, and I try to go to bed at a decent time. So, um, yeah, Mondays, Mondays probably my worst days. You know what, Kiki? Let me, let me give you a bit of advice. It's the best time of your life. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you, <laughs> yeah. it, you, enjoy it while you can. Listen, I know uh, your schedule's nuts. You just went through it. We wish you the very best against number one coming up this weekend. And thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you. I appreciate it.